Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Jerzen. I am a fifth year medical student and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Notion to organize my studies and make notes in medical school. First, we'll go through what Notion is and then we'll talk about some principles that I apply to study more efficiently in medical school. And finally, I'll take you on a tour of my Notion database so I can show you how exactly I apply those principles while studying. To not waste your time and make it much easier for you, I'll be leaving timestamps in the description and you can use the YouTube chapters function to jump around the video to a portion that you think you would find interesting. First, we can get started by talking about what Notion is. Notion is an all-in-one app that you can use for project management and note-taking. Notion is an extremely powerful app, but I like to use just one or two databases to keep it simple while studying one for my notes and one for projects and reports. The best part of all this is that Notion is completely free to use. If you're a student, you can upgrade to their plus plan for free, and this will give you the ability to upload larger files. If you'd like to know more information about that, I'll leave a link in the description to Notion's own website where they talk about using Notion for education. Now that we know what Notion is, let's talk about the principles that I apply to studying. The first one is to study efficiently, and the second one is to stay organized. Staying organized is important because it doesn't matter how much you study, if you're not doing it at the right time, there's no point in doing anything. And to study efficiently basically means to apply techniques such as active recall and spaced repetition instead of just rereading your notes and writing out notes like a drone. But the crux of all of this is that both these principles can be tackled by using Notion. With that said, now I'm going to take you through a tour of my Notion database that I used for my fourth year of medicine. So this is my medical school page in my Notion workspace. We've got three major sections, active exams, notes, and all the way down here we have presentations and reports. We'll go through these one by one. Let's start off with notes because that's usually where the semester starts, with classes and note taking. Now earlier I mentioned that I use databases to store my notes in Notion. What does that really mean? Basically, Notion works off of databases. You can make tables such as these where you can add different attributes to a certain topic, or in this case, a certain note. Now Notion's great because you don't have to stick to this table view of a database. You can use different views to view your database, which would make it a lot easier and a lot more neater. The two most common database views that I use for my Notion study space are the board view and the calendar view. Let's talk about the calendar view first. Now this is a calendar snippet from October 2022. And what we can see here is that with each note, I've assigned a date for the class. This makes it easier for me to stay organized because I can see what exactly I have coming up in a week and I can prepare and or plan out my studying much more efficiently and not leave everything towards the last minute. But when it's time to study and or take notes, I much prefer the board view. Now the board view is organized by subject. All of these are the same database, it's just different views. So me adding a subject to a note in the table will correspond to the board having a new subject and the note being populated underneath that. Now let's go into one of my notes to see how exactly I use Notion to take these notes. Now this is my note from rheumatology. This is on osteoarthritis and it's from November 4th, 2022. This is what it looks like in 2023 after I'm done with my fourth year. But what's important to note is that Notion utilizes something known as a toggle. Now, if we were to come down here and I was to make a new note, now you can type a toggle out by using the greater than symbol and hitting space, and now that's automatically a toggle. Why use toggles? This is to apply one of my principles of studying, active recall. Active recall is basically the opposite of passive recall. Remember when you write out notes and you read through them to revise? That's passive recall. You're passively recalling the information. Active recall is basically when you would hide that information underneath the question, usually using a flashcard or in this case, a toggle, to make sure that your brain is actively trying to memorize and remember the information instead of you just reading it out. Now we can see here that I've used a toggle function extensively to write all my notes out. Basically, all my notes go underneath questions. This makes sure that I am actively going to be recalling it when I revise. And when I'm revising, depending on how I answer the question, I would grade myself with the traffic light signal system by highlighting the question as either green, yellow, orange, or red. So let's see this in action. Over here, we have a question. What are the pharmacological treatment methods for osteoarthritis? Now, if I were actually revising this, I would try to recall this information first, and then I would click the toggle to see the answer. If I were just reading it, I could hit Option Command T on my keyboard to open up all the toggles, but it's much more preferred to actually do the question and answer method. Once I do that, I can see that the answer are NSAIDs, glucocorticoids, hyaluronic acid injections, and opioid analgesics. If I got it right, I would mark it as green. If it was okay, I would mark it as yellow. And if I completely got it wrong, it I would mark it as red. Over time, you can see where your weak spots are and you can revise the parts that you found difficult more often and the parts that you found easy less often. This is called spaced repetition and this is the second half of my efficient studying along with active recall. Now, a couple of tips that I would give everyone while writing your notes out are A, use the Feynman technique. Every single time you write a note out to make sure that you've understood it 
ask yourself, have I understood this completely? Or can I explain this to a five-year-old or a layman that's not necessarily in the field? So over here, a person that's not in the medical field. Once you answer that, you can see where you go wrong and you can see where you can ask yourself, why does this happen? This helps you fill gaps in your knowledge and this enables you to understand a topic more thoroughly, which I think is a better way of studying than rote memorization of something. Also, once I'm done with this, I would take this to class on my computer and I would write down more notes to shape everything up perfectly. And if I had any questions while studying when I couldn't find it online, I would ask my teacher at that point. Now, before we get to active exams, we need to talk about presentations and reports. This is basically the same thing as taking notes, but instead I've got a separate database here for reports and presentations. Right now we've only have one report here because I deleted all the other presentations because I was in the midst of moving my notes from here into an archive, but essentially it's the same process. Some differences might be I might add a submission deadline and when the presentation is, and I might add a little bit of metadata such as the requirements from the university, the sources that I used, and also a little to-do list for myself so that I can stay organized. This is another reason why I like using Notion. It's great for project management because it's not just a note-taking app, it's everything combined together and it's one single app and it's across all your devices. Now, once I'm completely organized and I have everything ready and I would start my actual research process, I would take notes underneath Notion just like normal. These are more freeform notes because these are going to go into a report. They're not necessarily for class or for studying. So there are some differences there. Now, the final section I wanna talk about are active exams. This is just a tiny little sliver on top of my medical school page. And the reason I have this is because I would like to prioritize studying for an exam over prepping for a class. I like to keep those spaces separate. Now, these are extremely simple. This is not a database whatsoever. These are just regular old pages in Notion, which you can do by hitting slash page. And for example, let's go into the rheumatology exam page here. And we can see that it's the exact same situation. We get these questions from the university, which we know are gonna be coming in the exam. And what I like to do is I like to go through each question, just bash through them, and then later on, try to recall it actively, of course, and highlight it as green, yellow, or red. So over here, we can see this is my prep for the rheumatology exam. And we can see that I had some issues with small vessel vasculitis, and I think we had some issues with rheumatoid arthritis here. But all in all, I feel like this is a very efficient and easy way to study. So once I'm done bashing through these questions, I would attempt the exam. And from my personal experience, guys, studying with active recall and spaced repetition and toggles or flashcards or whatever you'd like to use, it's a really great way of studying. You tend to understand things better so you can apply them in different fields of knowledge and you also see better grades. So that's kind of it. I just wanted to show you guys how I use Notion to study. I'm getting back into making videos now and I just wanted to start off with a little bit of a short video showing you how I've been studying over the past year. If you'd like more content like this, you can subscribe to the channel and you can subscribe to my newsletter as well and also follow me on Twitter if you'd like to say hello. Let me know if you're gonna be using Notion to study down below in the comments. Until next time, 